Hello there, my name is Ismail. Welcome to another Blender tutorial. So I've been uploading a few uh, time-lapse videos uh, without any explanation of what I'm doing, hoping that uh, maybe some of the advanced users can learn from the steps I'm taking, uh, but uh, without the need of me explaining step to step, uh, step by step. Uh, but uh, yeah, for any uh, beginners who really want a step by step tutorial, uh, this is something close to that. I'm not going to explain everything from from scratch because I've already explained uh, this the simple the basic steps uh, that you can uh, extrapolate or transcend into uh, what whatever object you want to make. Uh, but so I'm just going to explain the basic principle of how I made this. Uh, so what I usually like doing, uh, I I usually like uh, doing the modeling without uh, the, the pressure of explaining what I'm doing because it, it allows me to concentrate on the modeling and uh, plan ahead uh, what I'm what I'm design what I'm making. Uh, like you see, this object here uh, looks quite simple, but uh, you really need to do uh, plan how you're going to make it. Uh, if you yeah, you really need to plan ahead. Uh, on how you are going to approach a project like this. So you can go ahead and, and look at uh, the time-lapse uh, tutorial of how I made the steps, but I'm going to explain how I made uh, these circles and uh, just some basic stuff without going step by step. So what I did, I first uh, created like, uh, a cube and uh, made the shape of uh, the basket. So it is wide at the top something like that and then added in then I, I selected these bevel, these edges uh, that had, that I wanted to round off uh, you can you can select all the all the edges you want uh, like the like like a house like how I've selected them and then control B or use uh, this uh, navigation bar uh, to select uh, the bevel tool and bevel everything like this uh, but uh, the problem is that uh, let me go to layout so that we can see everything clearly. Press undo. Uh, bevel. The problem with uh, beveling all the edges, rounding off all the edges at once, is that uh, it will give them an even uh, round, even roundness. Uh, but uh, we want uh, the bottom here to be less rounded than the sides here. So that's why you see me in the time lapse selecting, just first giving these, rounding these uh, vertical edges and then rounding off the bottom edges. So if you see how I, how I selected the entire ring, I just hold down Alt and then uh, left select on the, uh, on the object. Uh, if you're using left select because they changed uh, the interface a bit so that you can you can be so so that you can select with right select or left select if you want so that's how you select a ring like that so if i wanted to select let me, let me add, add a, a few rings here so if i wanted to select this entire ring i just hold down out and then right click or like that like that like that uh, if you want to select multiple rings you just hold out and then shift then select like that uh, basically so yeah so now that uh, we have this rounded uh, then you need to round off this other edge so control b and then you can round off that side like that to get that uh, sometimes you will notice that uh, if you let's say add a cube again and uh, maybe scale it like that and maybe in the Y again like that. If you try to bevel this, you see that uh, the bevel is not even in different directions. Be that's because that uh, uh, you scaled uh, the object in the Y and Z in different axes, uh, but uh, forgot to apply the scale and rotation. Uh, if you go to the uh, transform properties here, you can see that uh, the scale and rotation, sorry, the scale Y and uh, Z direction are not I don't set to one which means that uh, when you try to give this a bevel even when you give it a bevel through the modifier that bevel is not going to be even so you need to apply uh, the rotation so that these numbers are all set to one so control a to bring up the apply modifier I think you can also find it here and uh, apply 
apply scale and you can see now all the edges get uh, even bevels so yeah so that's one thing to, to note by the way uh, you can switch between the cursor and uh, you can switch between the cursor and uh, this selection lasso by hitting W uh, that will uh, switch between different selection uh, boxes uh, I don't think this one has a shortcut yet but uh, yeah okay so to add these circles what I did is uh, going to edit mode added uh, the number of loop cuts I wanted but you see they're bending a bit like that in this direction uh, so what I did instead of just adding that adding loop cuts like that so to add a loop cut you just hold that control R and then move your cursor on the edge that you want to subdivide so control R and then move your cursor to there if you want to subdivide this side you just move your cursor that side like that uh, but uh, I didn't want them to be uh, um, bent uh, like this so what I did I first subdivided the middle like that and then use the shortcut control B bevel this edge or you can just use directly here control B or use the shortcut control B to get a straight straight corners like this so that now if you, if I add uh, more loop cuts control R there will be all straight loop cuts like that uh, this makes it that uh, uh, the circles that I make are all uh, aligned uh, vertically and they are not uh, skewed or anything so then you add other loops to the top like that and then you can select make sure you are in wireframe so that you can select the, the other side as uh, so or just make to make it easier what I did I deleted this side and I used the mirror modifier uh, for that side but uh, yeah also another thing you need to make sure is that uh, these loop cuts you make are not are rectangular like that like this so make sure that uh, the loop cuts you add are squares make squares like this otherwise if you try to make uh, these circles there will not be even circles so to make the circles you just again use the bevel tool make sure you make sure you are in vertex mode and then select the bevel tool and then drag uh, you will get uh, that kind of beveling uh, but uh, when the bevel settings come up I uh, change to vertex only and then reduce the amount then increase the profile increase the segments and then play around with the, with the profile until you get a perfect circle uh, the problem is that uh, because we our subdivisions we are making uh, rectangles instead of squares uh, that's why you see if I can repeat this That's why you see we are getting uh, non-circular circles, if that's a thing. Uh, but the reason why you can fix this is that the way you can fix this is you can uh, go to face mode, make sure you still have those selected, and change uh, the pivot point to uh, NVIDIA Origins. Not, mm, yes, to NVIDIA Origins. And then you can scale them in the in the different axis you see but uh, you see now if you can look cl closely we are kind of distorting the mesh a bit uh, so what you can do is uh, if you go to this uh, transform orientation you can click plus let's see sometimes it will give you the orientation of that face and now you can scale in that direction without distorting the mesh until you see you have uh, the perfect square sorry the perfect uh, circle like that you can see we can scale it in any direction and it will still be locked into that axis but uh, if we use a different orientation <coughs> a different transform orientation like global and try scaling you can see it's it squashes uh, that circle and you end up with those kind of faces like that but uh, 
just a way to avoid that any of those steps you just need to make sure that uh, your uh, your loops make make up squares and then bevel vertex only uh, two vertices so for me it was around 0 0.9 point zero nine that made a circle for me but uh, I guess that changes a bit uh, make sure we are in face mode if you don't think the the circles are perfect you can scale down scale them down a bit in that axis in the axis you want to get something like that so right now if you add a sub surf modifier subsurf subdivision modifier uh, if it's showing red it means that uh, in the arena settings you you have turned on simplify let me first hide this switch of sub subsurf because it's kind of heavy <coughs> uh, let me smooth this by right clicking and then turn on smooth shading If I delayed these faces, you see there is some kind of artifact that is brought out by the subdivision surface because uh, we have a lot of enigons uh, making up these around these circles. So to fix them, uh, what I was doing was uh, I was selecting, I was connecting the opposite vertices like that, and that would remove uh, that artifact. So. something like that so another thing that you might see me do is that uh, uh, when I thought uh, that let me la just use this ex this uh, original mesh uh, when I thought that uh, this is supposed to be a bit bent like this uh, what I did is just I just went I uh, selected uh, this mesh uh, this really helps if you have a mirror mirror mod the mirror modifier turned on so that you can only work on this side and uh, the other side uh, is done by the mirror modifier uh, but uh, what I did was uh, I select I selected uh, this side and then use the shear to make that bend as much as I, as I want but to make sure it doesn't cross over to this side or you can just select maybe a few on this side like, let me just select uh, some of these so you can just select use any lasso tool here and then to deselect you just hold down shift and then deselect uh, the vertices you don't want to select make sure you're not selecting the circles as well and then you can use the shear tool so to unselect just right click then use the shear tool to bend them as much as you want and do this yeah, so thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe. And if you want to download any of these models, uh, you can go to my CG Trader account and uh, download them. Or you can go to my Patreon account and uh, yeah, find them as, there as well. So thank you.